You guys know the early spring patterns just came out. So I'm going to show you what I plan on picking up. So if that's some content you would like to see, keep on watching. welcome or welcome back to the channel my name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Design and in this video I'm going to show you the new Simplicity Early Spring 2023 pattern that was just released yesterday all right now before we get started go ahead and hit that like button subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video if you're new to the channel welcome hello ciao guten tag aloha hola konnichiwa Wagwan, bonjour. If you are returning, you know what to do. Go get your quick snack, something to drink. Come on back so we can go ahead and get into these patterns that I thought was a good collection this season in the early spring. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to try to keep this video short, sweet, and to the point, just like my viewers like it. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this video. But I want to say that each pattern like I do with any of the releases, I will put it up on the screen and kind of talk through it, but I do also have my opinions about these patterns, all right? So let's go ahead and get right on into this video. All right, so the first pattern is 9701, which is a Mimi G's pattern, you know, designed by Mimi G herself. Now this is a easy to sew slim fit dress that comes in two lengths and features a square shaped neckline as well, which I like that as well. It also has elbow length sleeves. This pattern is an easy to sew and like any of the Mimi G patterns. If you've been following her for such a long time, she doesn't sew long for these patterns. So any of the Mimi G brand or Mimi G pattern, she will be doing a sew long or someone from her, you know, all right, whether it's Brittany J. Jones or Norris will be doing the pattern to, you know, the sew along to accompany the pattern that she does. All right, so that's the first pattern. Let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern, which is 9702. All right, so for 9702, I love this pattern for sure. Now, 9702, this is a Mrs. Empire dress. Uh, it comes in a V-neck dress. It comes in above the mid knee or to make calf length. It has sleeves variation and side pockets. UA features a crochet trim on the V-neck and long sleeve gathers to self bias binding edges. View B has the ruffle hem, the long sleeve with the ruffles at the end and elastic at the waist. And then View C is your tiered dress with the short sleeves and gathered uh, cape caps as well. All right, so for this one, the sewing skill level is rated as average for sure. So I want to say definitely that you will need to have some experience with this. Now, when it comes to the different fabric options for this pattern, the fabric options for this pattern, you have your poplin, your gauze, your cotton blends, your linen. So basically any type of woven fabric is what you will need in order to construct this fabric. But it, this pattern for as far as the fabric, all right? So let's go ahead and move over to the next one, which is, which is 9703. All right, so for 9703, this comes in the missus and a woman's size. 9703 is the missus size. 9704, I'm going to put both of those up on the screen so you can see it, is the missus sizes as well. Now, this is an average to sew pattern. It is a flounce dress with V-shaped neckline and bust starts. It comes in three lengths. Now, this pattern also features a slight gathers at the waist and gathered to your skirt. The dresses includes a lining as well in the bodice and the yoke piece. It includes an invisible zipper and side seam pocket as well. Now for this pattern, it does come in several size range. It comes for the mess of sizes, it comes four to 12 and 12 to 24. When you get into the woman sizes, the, for the woman size, you have the size range of 20W to 28W on one pattern and then 30W to 38W on the second pattern. If I have not said so already, this is an average to sew pattern as well. When it comes to the fabrics that you can use in order to construct this dress, you are looking at a chalet, charmeuse, cotton lawn, cotton blend, crepe, the shine, um, double georgette is another one that you could use gauze, poplin, silky type. So basically any type of woven fabric 
is what's needed or required in order to do this dress, which I think is amazing as well. So let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern, which is Simplicity 9705. So for this pattern, it's a Mrs. Top. It's an easy to sew pattern. It is a fitted top featuring the darted, the darts at the neckline and an invisible back zipper, longer short sleeve gathered sleeves, uh, created like a slouchy effect for sure. Top, the top for view A and view D has an open back as well. Now, some of the pattern sizing comes in 6 to 14 or 16 to 24 as well. Regarding the fabric, um, like I said, this is an easy to sew pattern. Regarding the fabric, you can use chambray, cotton, crepe, rayon, ponte knits for sure, and sateen, just to name a few. Um, also with this, like I said, you can use pretty much any type of woven fabric in order to get that silhouette that you are looking for as well. So that is Simplicity 9705. Let's go ahead and get into the next pattern, which is 9706. So for 9706, it is a Mrs. Top. Um, it's an average to sew pattern. It is a top with that features a front knot details with pleats at the shoulder. The top also includes a sleeve variation and an invisible back zipper as well. As far as the sizing, it comes in two pattern sizes, 8 to 16 and 18 to 24 for sure. When it comes to this uh, fabric that you would use in order to construct this, once again, it's like your woven fabrics, like your chalet, your chemise, your cotton lawn, crepe, double georgette, and silky prints, just to name a few for those as well. Basically, any type of fabric is a good thing, is a, any type of woven fabric for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the next pattern, which is a 9707 and 9708. 9707 is the Mrs. Pattern, 9708 is the Mrs. Pattern as well. For this one, it is another easy to sew pattern. Um, for this one, it is a relaxed fit button down shirt and two lids featuring a yoke, a collar, and button cuff as well. View A and View C have side seam pockets as well. Regarding the pattern sizing, for the Mrs. Sizes, it comes in two envelopes, 4 to 12 and 12 to 20 on the Mrs. Envelope. Regarding the Mrs. Envelope or Woman Size Envelope, you have 20W to 28W and 30W to 38W. Once again, it's an easy to sew pattern as well. When it comes to the fabrics, you would definitely need your um, woven fabrics for sure, like your silky types, your crepe, your rayon, your uh, satin, lightweight denim would be good, any type of cotton or flannels, just to name a few for those as well. So once again, that's 9707 and 9708. Let's go ahead and get into the next pattern, which is 9709. So for 9709, it is Mrs. Pants or Shorts. It is an average to sew pattern. Why? Because it is a high-waisted fly front pant and shorts and have front pleats and pockets. View A and View C have your cuffs, like you see on the envelope. View B and View C have features that adjustable tab at the waist and a front point pocket for sure. Now for the pattern uh, sizing, it comes in two sizes, 6 to 14 and 16 to 24. When it comes to the fabrics, for sure, once again, you know, you're going to need your woven fabrics like your chambray, cotton blends, gauze, linen blends. Um, any type of cotton fabrics will do for this pattern as well. Um, you can use pretty much anything, even if you want to use in-card print, you can do that as well. Once again, this is 9709. Let's go ahead and get into the next pattern, which is 9710. So for 9710, it's a Mrs. Skirt. It's an average to sew pattern. Um, this is a button front skirt which features the yoke and have length and hem variation. The skirts include the front slanted pockets on the flat pockets with button closure as well. This pattern does come in two pattern sizing, 8 to 16 on the first pattern and 18 to 26 on the second pattern. Once again, you're going to need like some type of woven fabric, broadcloth, cloth, cotton, chambray, denim, linen, you name it. You can use whatever type of fabric you want for the skirt. I would highly suggest that you use a fabric that will, you know, hold its shape for sure because you don't want to use something that will not hold its shape. So some, like I would say a medium weight woven would be great for this pattern. 
Now that we talked about that one, let's go ahead and get into the next one, which is 9711. So for 9711, it comes in a woman's pattern and a Mrs. pattern. The Mrs. pattern is 9711. The woman's pattern is 9712. This pattern is a Mrs. skirt. So for this pattern, it is an average to sew pattern. It is a pleated skirt in three lengths. It comes with contour, waistband, and side seam pockets. Skirt A has the belt set in the side seams, and then skirt C has the pleated self-tie as well. When it comes to sizing, it comes in two, two sizes for the misses and two sizes for the women. So for the misses, it comes uh, 4 to 12 on the first envelope and 14 to 22 on that second envelope. When it comes to the misses sizes, however, it comes in 20W to 28W and then 30W to 38W for sure. Now, when it comes to the fabric, it is, you know, once again, woven fabric, your cotton, your satin, um, your jacquard, you know, different fabrics is what you can use in order to do the skirt. Once again, I'm going to say something that holds its structure is what you want to use for your fabric. I wouldn't, I would not use like some cheap broadcloth uh, cotton in order to do the pleated skirt. I would use a medium weight a medium weight fabric in order to do the skirt. Now that we talked about those, let's go ahead and get into the next pattern, which is 9713. So for 9713, it is a message jacket in two lengths. It's designed by the American Sewing Guild. This is an average to sew uh, jacket. And one thing that I do like about this pattern, it is a hooded parka. Okay, so one thing about a hooded parka, it is hard to find a pocket. Um, and the reason why I'm saying it's hard to find a parker is I own two parkas. Um, one I got when I was like 10 years old from my father who was in the army um, for 23 years. The second one I purchased myself. <laughs> and if you ever been in the military, all my veterans and military individuals, you know how much these parkers cost. Okay. They are not cheap whatsoever. All right. So um, <laughs> they're over three hundred dollars all right but i needed one because where i was living at the time it was up north and it gets cold and it snows there so you definitely needed a parker okay okay so with this pattern it is a hooded parker in two lengths features the side seam pockets um snap button closure and a concealed zipper as well view a has the full pockets flat as well um, now, this is not the standard parka that I am used to. However, it will do for something that you make and you are happy with. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the next pattern. Oh, I'm sorry. Regarding the pattern sizing for this pattern, you have two envelopes, 8 to 16 on the first one and 18 to 26 on the second envelope as well. When it comes to the fabric, you are looking at any type of woven fabric, broadcloth, cotton blends, linen blends, um, moles, skin, uh, ripstop, nylon. You can use many different fabrics in order to, you know, do the Parker jacket as well. All right. So now that we talked about 9713, let's move to the next pattern, which is 9714, which is Mimi G pattern herself. So if you guys have not seen on YouTube Mimi G's channel, she posted um, the sneak peek of her spring, early spring pattern. So that's what prompted me to do this video. All right. <laughs> right after work, I didn't know. I almost forgot. So I did un, uh, get changed or whatever. So that's why I'm not wearing my Mimi because you guys know I wear Mimi during the day. Okay. That works. All right. So this is 9714. Moving back over into the pattern, it's 9714. And this is the Mrs. Jacket Pant and Short Pattern by Mimi G herself. It is an average to sew pattern, but if you have, you know, watched, like I've mentioned before, if you have ever watched Mimi G, you know she does sew alongs for these. So it is a jacket with shawl collar, features a self tie at the side and patch pockets for sure. The jacket sits below the waist, but the shorts and the pants have the fly front, a slash pocket, and elastic at the back as well. Regarding the sizing, it comes in two envelopes, 8 to 16 and 18 to 26. In terms of uh, fabric, you are looking at, you know, doing things with woven, once again, linen, um, cotton, rayon suiting would be good, denim, crepe. I'm also 
going to throw in a couple of that I would do myself, which would be like poplin, um, sateen would be a good one to do. Twill would be good to do as well. Those are fabric that will hold its structure to do a two-piece set like this as well. So that's just to name a few fabrics that I would use in order to do this pattern by Mimi G. Now that we talked about 97.14, let's go ahead on the, to the next pattern, which is 97.15. So 9715 is Mrs. Shirt, Pants, and Short Pattern. It is an average to social pattern. It is your short or long sleeve button down shirt and high waisted wide leg pants with cutting lines for shorts. It has pleats, pockets, and fly front opening as well. In terms of sizing, it's 8 to 16 or 18 to 26 on that pattern envelope. Um, in terms of fabric, for sure, you definitely want to use something that holds the structure for sure, like linen, chambray, gauze, um, lightweight, cottons for sure, rayon is just to name a few as well. So I would definitely use like a twill, a poplin, something that's medium weight cotton or woven fabric. Um, I would not use like a lightweight cotton in order to do them. That's just my two cents. You can use whatever fabric you want. Now that we talked about that, let's go ahead and get on to the next pattern, which is 97.16 and 97.17. One is the Mrs. pattern, one is a woman's pattern. But this is a Mrs. Knit top, cardigan, and skirt pattern. So you could do like a build a easy wardrobe. It is an easy to sew pattern. Um, one thing I will say is, this could be an easy business wardrobe pattern for sure if you create all the pieces. And you guys know I like to use one pattern, create all the pieces on that pattern before moving on to something else. Uh, it's just, you know, it makes it easier. And me, I like separates for sure. So that's something that you could do as well. But getting back into this pattern, it's an easy to sew pattern. It's comfortable and stylish knit top. Cardigan and skirt outfit is perfect for any occasion. The cardigan comes in two lengths. The knit top is sleeveless and the skirt includes a self-tied belt. In regards to the sizing, for the Mrs. pattern, it comes 4 to 12 and then 12 to 20 on the envelope. For the Mrs. pattern, of course, you know, you have your normal standard ones that they do, 20W to 28W and then 30W to 38W. Now, I don't know if you catch a glimpse of what I said about the knit top. So for the fabric, of course, you're going to need your knit, okay? Whether that be your your interlock, your ITY, your jersey knit, your ponty knit, your bamboo knit, your model knit. There's so many different types of knits that you can use in order to do this pattern. Now that we talked about that pattern, and let's go ahead and get into the next pattern, which these last two patterns are children patterns. The first one is 9719. Now this is, it says that it's a boys knit, you know, um, jacket and pant pattern, but I will be doing this for my daughter, okay? Um, hey, some patterns could go easy way, like e either way, like a unisex pattern. And you guys know I'm good for hacking any type of pattern to make it do what it do, okay? So <laughs> with this pattern, this is a Mimi G pattern for sure. It's an average to sew pattern. It's a jacket that has raglan sleeves with high stand collar and front zipper opening. It has pull on pants, has a uh, side panel and slit leg below the knee with snap detail. The jacket and the pants includes the zipper pocket as well. Now, for this pattern, it comes in two, it comes in one size. It comes in small, medium, and large only, all right? Now, regarding the fabric, of course, you're gonna need any type of stretch knits like your Terry French, your sweatshirt, your Ponte, your scuba. Um, you can even, like literally, you can use any type of knit <laughs> for this pattern, all right? So let's get into that last pattern, which is 9722, which is another children's pattern as well. Um, so for this one, it's a children and girls jumpsuit, romper, and dress pattern. It's an average to sew pattern. It comes in two pattern sizing, three to six and seven to 14. It is a utility style jumpsuit, romper, and dress. It has the stand collar, center front zippers, elastic at the waist and buttons on the sleeves to keep them rolled up, you know, keep your sleeves rolled up and in place as well. In terms of fabric for this one, I would use a twill just to let you know what I would use. 
But some of the fabric options you can use is chambray, cotton blends, lightweight denim, linen blends, uh, double knit, terry. You can even use ponty knit if you choose to as well. So that is $97.22. Moving on to that last, 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 the deep last pattern, which is $97.29. Now for this one, it is a Madeline pattern. And if you have not heard of Madeline, she does like all the long not the, the loungewear, the lingerie, right, are intimate um, collections for sure. So for this pattern, it is a Mrs. and a woman slips um, from there. So one thing that I will say about slips is I don't own any slips because I do not put slips underneath my dress. However, you can use this pattern if you want to be like sexy for your partner, your hubby, your babe, your boo, your sweet thing, your sugar daddy, whatever you want to call whoever you with, you know what I'm saying? Uh, or your sugar mama, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, but you could do this pattern, make it in a uh, silky print or chemise or whatever and make it do what it do. All right, so let's get into this pattern, which is 97.29. It is an easy to sew pattern. It's a pullover, full sl uh, slip with empire waistline and lace trim. It has your calf length flared skirt and above the knee length straight skirt as well. Pull on above the knee length half slit has white elastic waistline casing and lace trim as well. Now, like I mentioned, like I mentioned, as far as fabric, something silky for sure. You do not want a cotton for the fabric. Uh, crepe will be good. Silky types will be good. Uh, chemise will be good for sure. In terms of the pattern sizing, it comes in extra small through extra large on one envelope, 1X to 5X on the other envelope. So for this pattern, it is very size inclusive for sure to fit every one of every size. If I, I don't know if I said it before, but Mimi did mention it that she is expanding size and that was one of her visions when she became VP for Simplicity uh, Design, Design Group, Simplicity, VP, she's, I think she's over, I don't know the exact title, but I think she's over patterns and design. So anyway, that's all for the, the items that I'm going to pick up. I will be going to Joanne's today to check and see if the patterns is in my store. If not, I will be picking up on the next pattern stall because I know the manager, all right? <laughs> Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I tried to go as fast as I possibly can, but give you all the details like I do. I like to keep these videos short, sweet, and to the point and not just ramble, all right? So, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. Also, like I mentioned, this will be part of the Make 9, you know, video number one. I will have it posted on which patterns that you will be able to choose from for that first Make 9 viewer's choice. So stay tuned for that as well. So until next time, keep sewing.